Hello! In a previous video I have shown you how you can mount OneDrive into Linux. Um, well, so it's very easy to use, let's say like a normal external drive. Uh, I did find that it was a bit slower when I was logging in. Um, so what I've done now is instead of logging OneDrive into Linux, what I've done is I have set up a job that uh, synchronizes the files from my local machine into a specified folder on OneDrive. Um, as well as copy new files over from OneDrive into my local folder. Um, and I can show you how I have done that. So I did that in the terminal. So I just open up a terminal here. And let's just go for cron tab dash E. It's, um, I put it in cron. And here you see the things that I've done. So Every day at midnight, uh, there's an R clone sync from my local music into OneDrive music file. So I'm actually backing up everything that is in my music file um, and making sure that those two folders are the same. Um, every 15, um, 15th minute of every hour, um, I do a copy of all my pictures that I have in OneDrive um, which is the saved pictures, which is where I put my, my, my you know, pictures that I use for the business. Um, I copy that back into my local pictures folder. So that happens every hour on the 15th minute. And then again, every day at 1 a.m., um, I will sync the pictures back that I have from OneDrive into my, my normal uh, local pictures. Um, so in this way, I can actually access everything really, really quickly. I don't need to mount OneDrive and because you know it's great to mount OneDrive, but it is a little bit you know less stable if, if your your connection is not so great. Um, copying doesn't work, deleting doesn't work, etc. Now I can actually work with local drives and this synchronizes every few minutes or so or every hour, sorry, every hour or, or every day, depending on what I do. Um, what you do notice is that I got sync and I got copy here. Um, so with sync, it's only a one-way sync. So whatever is in music will go to OneDrive Music. If I delete it from music here, it will be deleted in OneDrive Music. However, whatever I add in OneDrive Music and not in my local music folder will not be moved back. Um, now with music, I use only my local copy um, as the master. So I wouldn't be adding anything in OneDrive anyway. That's only a backup. Um, but for pictures, um, sometimes I work on a different machine or just, you know, use a camera picture and copy it over in OneDrive or, um, whatever that is, uh, I want that back in my saved picture. So that's why I copy that back. So I don't use sync here. I use our clone copy. Um, so whatever new I create in my OneDrive, um, in, in the cloud will then be copied over every hour on the 15th minute into my OneDrive or into my local folder. And then every night at 1 a.m., um, everything is synchronized again. So whatever I delete from my local folder will then be deleted into uh, in the other area as well. So that's how I keep these things in sync. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and if you found the OneDrive mounting option better and more easier for you, that's fantastic if it works. Um, if you're like me and it was a little bit slow, you're not really yeah, too, uh, too happy with the performance or the stability of it, then uh, with our clone using sync and copy um, is a good way to keep things in, in, in sync between the two drives. So hopefully that's useful and uh, leave me a comment um, and I'll see you in the next video.